wouldn't need to sign. About time, it's five days late. Well, it did come rather a long way. I keep it up on our engines. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, is it a film or a book? One word. Two syllables. Oh, um, clothing. Where? Where? Um, second syllable. Tears. Tear. Where? Tear. Oh, water. <laughs> well, the water fountain's just there. Ah, I may have used the last of the water cleaning the wax out of my ears. <laughs> oh, Danny's house is on. <laughs> Hi, my name's Danny, and this is my fantastic new best friend, Jack. Yeah, but oh, where was I? Your name's Danny, and I'm the best friend to Sam. As I was saying, this is my fantastic new Max. I'm a brother, and actually, it's Ben. What? Oh, it's our show. Can you just slip it? As I was saying, my name's Danny, and this is my fantastic. I give up. Hey guys, you are just in time. I'm starring in a TV ad, and we're about 30 seconds away from the world premiere. We haven't missed it, have we? Any minute now. Our friend on TV. It's almost like knowing a real actress. Oh, careful. I bruise like a peach. What Jack meant to say was, is we're very proud of you. That too. Oh, guys. Oh, look, it's on, it's on, it's me. <laughs> Are you tired of the same old food things? Bored of limp, tasteless sandwiches? Do you want to put the knack back in your snacking? Try new Noodle Puffs, the found down the back of the fridge style snack that's one part dust, four parts awesome. They're noodle doodle dandy. <laughs> noodle Puffs are available in these great flavors. Cheesy Weasel, Boiled Crab, Lemon Bon Bon, Mystery Meat, and new medicated cough syrup flavor. <laughs> They're cock-a-noodle doo. Noodle Puffs, now with extra sea cheese. Excessive consumption of noodle puffs may lead to loss of eyebrows, mood swings, and sticky scalp syndrome. So, what do you think? I think I needs me some noodle puffs. Hmm, <laughs> cheesy weasel. Sam? Mm. I was just in a TV commercial and all you can say is, mm. I'm pleased you got the job. You do know lots of actors started their career by doing TV commercials. I was at the time. Let's be off. See you soon. She wasn't wearing a watch. Pack a noodle do. <laughs> what is it? Talk to me. Noodle puffs are really unhealthy, Danny. And they're advertised to a young audience. Oi! Want more noodle puffs? These things are full of saturated fat, salt, 20 different chemicals, and something called sea cheese. They're made from the milk of a sea cow. Oh. Sea cows are an endangered species. How do you even know about sea cheese? I love noodle puffs. I know everything about them. And you still eat them despite knowing they contain cheese made from endangered dugon milk. Sea cow milk. Sea cows are dugons. You're a dugon. <laughs> Danny, darling. Oh, Helen, hi. I've got something for you. Is it a pony? Better than a pony. It's a load of noodle puffs. <laughs> Looks like you guys love noodle puffs almost as much as I love noodle puffs. Who? Noodle puffs is what we're eating. Remember, Ben, we wanted to find the golden tickets to win the prizes. Oh, yeah. Prizes? Uh, what's this about prizes? There are golden tickets hidden in special packs of noodle puffs. You can win everything from a key ring to a tour of the noodle puff distribution plant to your own bouncy castle. Wow, I love distribution plants. <laughs> They're giving away a mixed guru four billion. That's the most advanced DJ rig ever devised. It's worth nearly six grand. I better get stuck in. Careful, Jack. Why? If you eat too fast, you'll get indigestion and explode. That's a risk I'm prepared to take. Who's your friend? This is Sam. I guess you're the noodle puff delivery woman. Helen Cranny. Milk and Cranny Marketing. I cast Danny in the noodle puffs campaign. Your product promotes an unhealthy lifestyle and exploits an endangered species. And your outfit makes you look like a frump. Actually, Helen, I was going to call you. I don't want to do any more Noodle Puff commercials. 
And your ad was a smash. It was. We have got big plans to expand the campaign and make you the new face of Noodle Puffs. Pretty soon, everyone is going to know your name. Let's talk terms. Why do you not look frumpy? This is the very last one. I don't think I can manage it. Max. Ben. OK. I think I've got a little bit of room left in my upper gastrointestinal tract. Oh. oh. That's a golden ticket. Is that good? Well, it means you've won something. I hope it's a tour of the distribution plant. I can't wait to see their loading dock. <laughs> oh, what's the mix guru for billion? What? You won the mix guru? <laughs> Not fair, that was supposed to be my box of noodle puffs. Oh, mummy, move on. <laughs> <laughs> Observe our marketing targets here, here, and here. Stage one. Noodle Puffs launches with a This is so boring. I wish we was talking about something else. Like submarines. Or motorbikes. Oh, motorbikes are way more interesting. Brum, brum. Look at me, I'm riding on a motorbike. Meow. How did that cat get on a motorbike? Meow. Danny. 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 <laughs> Catch bikes. I'm sorry? Motorbikes. What? Cats on motorbikes. What about them? They're cool, with their little leather jackets and helmets. Maybe we could have you riding a motorbike in the advert. You could jump it over a swimming pool filled with noodle puff eating sharks. That would be amazing. I've always wanted to do my own stunts. Look, check this out. Ow. I think I just twisted my ankle. Oh. <laughs> This is for the forthcoming product of Bath Time Noodle Puffs. Eat them, or wash with them, or wash with them, and then eat them. The choice is yours. I don't know about all this, Helen. I'm flattered that you want me. I just think I should probably focus on my music career first. We could use one of your songs in the advert. You could do that. The ad is going to be shown in cinemas for months. People won't be able to get it out of their heads. They'll be walking along when Blano no, no, it's that Danny song again. Make it stop. I'm not sure I want people getting sick of my songs. In my book, sick is just another word for love. Glad I'm not your boyfriend. Do we have a deal? <sighs> Look, you're not a DJ. What are you going to do with a mix guru? Well, I could turn it into a pretty shabroy. Or a potter's wheel. I've always wanted to make a vase. In America, they pronounce it vase. Turning a mix guru into a shrubbery would be sacrilege. Like drawing a moustache on the Mona Lisa, or turning Big Ben digital. Guess I could let you have it. It's not like I really have a need for it. If he wants that DJ rig so bad, he's going to have to pay one of us for it. But I can't afford to buy it. Then we're keeping it. Oh, but I can't stand to see a good set of turntables go to waste. If only I knew how to DJ. I'll teach you. You do that. Every great man needs an apprentice. Yeah, but why do you need one? <laughs> Funny guy. Are those... Are those noodles in your ears? I think I may have overdone it on the noodle puffs. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Mr Nook will be over the moon when he hears you're going to stay on as our noodle puff girl. I thought you'd left. Well, just as well as I didn't, someone had to stop you. Oh, please don't give me the right act again. You're selling your soul to promote an awful snack. Who cares if noodle puffs are bad for you? Everything's bad for you if you eat too much of it. Salt, wallpaper paste, rat poison. Not everything contains cheese made from milk of an endangered species. But this could be good for my career. Professor Brian Cox won't let any harm before the dugong, and neither will I. But I bet your beloved Professor Brian Cox would do whatever it took to further his understanding of the universe. That's not true. You take that back about my Brian. <laughs> Today, you're going to see some of the work we're doing with this. The large dugong collider. Any questions? 
Professor, hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, did you just say the Large Dugon Collider? That's right. Only I thought it was a Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest particle accelerator. This is the world's largest Dugong accelerator. <laughs> With this machine, we can accelerate Dugongs to almost the speed of light. Why would you want to do that? So we can smash them together. <laughs> Bang! Because we think that if we collide dugongs together, then we can get an almost infinite supply of something called sea cheese. Oh, sea cheese. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Come on. Oh, Brian, I thought you were so different. Play the turntables. You must become a turntable. Yes, my master. I must become a turntable. You must set your brain to 45 revs per minute. 45 RPM. You must tune into your heartbeat and play it like a bass line. What utter gaff. <laughs> Answer me, Ben. What do turntables do? They turn, my master. You're a natural, my young apprentice. Now, become a turntable. I am a turntable, I am a turntable, I'm a Miss Spinny, I'm a Mr. Spinny, Spin, Spin! Whoa! Pity's sake. Spin, 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 Spin! <laughs> That's great, Danny. Lovely song, but, um... I can't help noticing that you weren't singing about noodle puffs. The song's not about noodle puffs. Fair dues. Well, here are the new words we want you to sing. You changed my lyrics. Well, the advert is about noodle puffs. It wouldn't really be appropriate for you to be singing about breaking free and rocking waves out to sea. <laughs> Danny, excuse me. You can't do this. You'll forever be associated with a product that promotes bad health and exploits the dugongs. Is that what you want? Look, I'll give my fee to the dugong conservation. Are you happy now? But think of your career. I'm doing this for my career. Do you remember the Barley Crunch Bear? He was a serious actor before he started doing adverts. And then I said to Sir Ian, I said, darling, that is not how you play a wizard. <laughs> of course. Uh, Everyone knows you best as the uh, face of popular breakfast cereal, Barley Crunch. Uh, well, that was a very long time ago. I'd like to focus on my current project, a one bear version of Romeo and... What was your catchphrase again? I'd rather not dwell on the past. Well, I'm sure the audience would like to hear it, wouldn't you, audience? So how about it? Somebody's been stealing my barley crunch. Mm, uh, 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 uh. There. I said it. Somebody stole my barley crunch. That's uh, not right. Uh, well, not that it matters. But it's somebody's been stealing my... Uh, 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 Stop laughing! Uh, uh, uh. I'm a serious actor! Somebody stole my barley crunch. Uh, 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 You're still getting it wrong! It's somebody's been stealing! Stop laughing at me! Look, it's too late to pull out. I signed the contracts. We're going to be filming the next ad this afternoon. Fine. If you're not going to stop this fast, then maybe I will. Sam! What's wrong with Fran Pinnickers? I heard that. Zing, zing, zing. Repeat after me. That's straight blazing! That is straight blazing! I've got the crazy toes! I've got the crazy bones! Feel the satisfaction from the street crowd reaction! Feel the satisfaction thingy from the other thingy in the room! It's your boy Bengi B dropping a beat with a big shout out to all the honeys in the hot house with a whoop whoop whoop! I'm Ben B shouting something about beating up a pot of honey in a greenhouse and the other thing about the whooping and the hooping and the. Cha la 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 la! Cha la 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 la! It needs some work. Please, Universe, give me some fun. Jack, we need to do something about Danny. I'm going to protest against Noodle Puffs and you're going to help me? Sorry, Sam. 
I've sort of got my hands full teaching Ben to be a slamming club DJ. Like me. <laughs> You're serious? My young apprentice and I have a long road ahead of us. Is it the yellow brick road? We go to meet the Munchables. <laughs> Sam, let me get this straight. You're planning to disrupt Danny's career? Just this once. Maybe I could help you with that. Thanks, but I'm doing this for the right reasons, because Noodle Puff are a menace. Not because I want to upset your sister. Sam, Sam, Sam. <laughs> I've eaten enough Noodle Puffs to know how bad they are. And I would like nothing more than for their menace to be stamped out once and for all. Uh <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This episode of Danny's House is making me hungry. <laughs> what are you drawing, coordinator? I've had an idea for a new invention that's going to make me rich. Oh, what is it? It's a device for seeing through walls. I've always wanted to see through walls. Tell me, how does it work? Simple. Firstly, I get an amount of sun. What you have appeared to have invented, um... It's the window. And that's been done before, has it? Come here and watch the show. OK. Please, come in. Um, OK. Welcome to my world of mystery and intrigue, Samantha. We stage a protest. We disrupt filming of Danny's next advert. Disrupt it how? Placards, chanting, marching up and down, throwing paint. Sounds a bit aggressive. Do you want to get your point across or not? Well, couldn't we try a more passive form of protest? We can lay down on set and refuse to move. Lay down? You want to protest by laying down? Why not? Was Alexander the Great laying down when he conquered the Persian Empire? Did man fly to the moon by laying down? Actually, yes. In the Apollo capsule, the astronauts would lie on their backs. Think about the poor dugongs being milked for their cheese. Don't you think they deserve some dignity in their final years? Well, these don't have to be their final years if someone can stop them being exploited. And that someone is us. I can't do this alone, Sam. Please. And you're definitely doing this because you disagree with Noodle Puffs and not because you want to annoy Danny. Look at this face. This is the face of a liar. Day two, my young apprentice. You've come a long way, but you're not ready for a real turntable. However, this crude mock-up shall allow you to practice. It would help if you weren't eating the buttons. Yeah, the room is just down on the left. No, 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 the next uh, Sorry, mate. Sorry, darlings. What's all this? <laughs> What's going on? Who are you? Jack, Danny's friend. Well, Mr Danny's friend, we're very busy, so be a good fellow and if you could just leave us. <laughs> Move. Okay, Danny, how are you feeling? Ridiculous. Well, you look utterly awesome. I wish I looked as good as you. I look like a giant noodle puff. Well, you are a giant noodle puff. You're Nancy Noodle Puff, <laughs> queen of the noodle puffs. Couldn't we have filmed this somewhere else? Somewhere I couldn't be seen by other human beings? Well, what difference does it make? When we show it, you'll be seen by millions of people. <laughs> Mixed guru, when does it arrive? This afternoon. I'm getting it delivered here because my dad's scared of large packages. After Max sent him an irritated anaconda in the post. So, we have just a few more hours to turn you into a DJ worthy of that hardware. When I'm done with you, you'll know how to mix, you'll know how to roll, how to dice, how to cut, even how to crab scratch. Stop eating the buttons! <laughs> and the other one.
just in time. That must be my mix guru. Action! I am Nancy, queen of the Noodle Path, and I welcome you to Noodle Land. Come to me, my Noodle Paths. Noodle. Ow! Can you not throw them so hard? To cut, cut, cut. What did I do wrong? Absolutely nothing. I just want you to be, well, I want you to try it in a completely different way. Focus on your, on your motivation. My motivation? I'm playing the giant noodle puff. The queen of noodle puffs. I need you to be about 10% more, more regal. Yes, good. Another 2%, better, better, yes. Yes, you almost got it. Okay, from the top. Quiet, please. As the current face of Noodle Puffs, Danny has to be the focus of our protest. I guess, but... She's brought this upon herself, Sam. No one can blame us for what happens next. Mix Guru 4 billion. Precision. Diamond cut engineering. 3,000 watts of crisp audio quality. Even before it's powered up, you can feel the power within. The beats just... Straining to be unleashed. I need it! I want it! Please give it to me, Ben! Please! It's wasted on you! You heard what Max said. I can't. Then let me win it off you. Two DJs, one set of turntables each. I challenge you to a DJ face-off. I don't want to take my face off. It's the only one I've got. I mean, a DJ duel. We trade beats. But I've only just learned how to DJ. I'm not ready for that. Ben! You are the most naturally gifted DJ I've ever seen. If anyone can grind me into the dirt and humiliate me to the cusp of tears, it's you. Okay, then. I'll get properly set up. I can't wait to find out what happens next. Sometimes I feel like eating noodle puffs. Let's stop our mouths. Let's eat those noodles now. Noodle noodles. is going to make me a fortune. <laughs> On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Bad, ben. Oh, I guess that makes me the winner. Looks like your mix guru wasn't up to the job. But it's brand new. Well, see, that's the thing about these new DJ rigs. They're not made as well as the old ones. No! What is going on in here? I'm trying to shoot a commercial next door. We're having a DJ face off. At least we were. You look nice, Danny. Jack, do you have to do your DJ thing now, in here? Well, we're not doing it anymore, are we? Our decks have died. I feel like I've lost a friend. Oh. We grew up together. Down with noodle puffs. Protect the two guns. Down with noodle puffs. Protect the two guns. Down with Danny. Protect. Did you just say down with Danny? Uh, no. Definitely down with noodle puffs. Take that, Danny. I mean, up noodle puffs. What are you doing? We're staging a noodle puffs protest. Here, have a pamphlet. Do you have any idea how much this delay is costing me? I want you to throw these idiots out. These idiots are my friends. And some of us aren't even idiots. And some of us aren't even her friends. And some of us are just happy to be here. If you ask me to put Noodle Puffs before my friends, you can forget it. I quit. Well, you can't quit. You're our Noodle Puffs girl. Some things aren't worth selling out for. So that's it. 
If you're asking me to choose between my friends or humiliating myself by dressing up as Nancy Noodlepuff, I choose them. Quite a... Now am I going to get to be the new face of Noodlepuffs? Ooh. Name's Max. <laughs> Max? What about our protest? What about your principles? I guess I'm selling out. Come with me. I can't believe you let him convince you that he was doing this for the right reasons. I'm glad you quit, though. Oh, me too. Noodle, noodle, ayy How much am I getting paid for this again? The same as Danny. Woohoo! Aye, nothing. Danny asked me to give her earnings to the Society for the Preservation of the Dugong. What? Now, come on, get back into character. I have another 40 commercials to shoot today. <laughs> <laughs> this is priceless. So, did you two decide who won the DJ face-off? We agreed it should be a draw. Ben's given me some parts from his mix screw to help rebuild my decks. And my DJ days are over. I've turned what's left into a shrubbery. And action! <laughs> 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 oh, another fine episode. I got it! I've invented the product that's gonna make my fortune. I might see it. Imagine you're standing on one side of a solid wall and want to get to the other side. Okay. What are you gonna do? Climb over it. Too high. A burrow underneath it. The ground is concrete. Uh, smash through it. The wall is solid brick. Have you invented something that will allow me to walk through solid brick? Indeed I have. The coordinated sack. Wall of Tron 3000! That's a door. And I suppose you're going to tell me that's already been done as well, has it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's live these